Sniper! Quirk for up to 54 CS. We have yet to see our first real big item pick up at 9 minutes, which is not a huge surprise. Vata getting caught out. I think Hookshot came in from Bulba. Vata's getting low. Shrapnel coming in. Assassination not there. Laguna Blade blows up Bulba, but they got the kill they were looking for. It's tough, as there is going to be that smoke of deceit. Can Bulba find Fata? I think they might have spotted him out here in the trees. Hookshot is going to connect. There's going to be the Mystic Flare. Fata is most certainly dead again. And they blow him up within the span of a second. Evaporating would be the term I would use. And he needs to get out as quickly as possible. Misery is going to chase him down. Gets fall. Cannot Nightmare or Brain Sap. Bottom lane, there are four heroes in the vicinity. Hookshot again. Fata is like, please, can you just leave me alone? Stop. Damn! And they're gonna lose the tier one tower as well. Yeah. Um, even then, that's that's cutting it pretty close. There's gonna be a smoke into Roshan, actually. It looks like. Mm, okay, no, not into Roshan. Just looking for a kill. They have the fresh Yules actually up on Shadow Fiend, so pretty good timing for Koikfa. Ward placed on the high ground vision from Pilai Die in the mid lane. He's gonna ding level eight. Uh, we'll see if they try to go for something. There's a haster and spawned up top too. Assassinate being done somewhere. Suddenly again, Cloud9 says it's time to push, it's time to take the tier 2 tower, but Bone7 getting caught out, Malphys hook shot in, he's in trouble, swap out by No-Tail, Magic Missile, Mystic Flare under No-Tail, that's fine, the support martyr, but will they get more out of this? Jumping in, Bone7 LSA goes, but they blow up, that poor Lena, she melts, she burns up, Fox will try to TP away, it looks like he will get out. Hmm, okay. I'll have to try to maybe restart again in just a second, but oh, there's the blink actually on to Misery. Nice nightmare, but you should still be there. He's to buy some time, but uh, he needs to brain stab. Can't do it. No, no. no cell coming through. He's also maybe killed himself. Buyback for Misery. Black Hole is going to be on to two. Misery didn't cancel the TP, but the Laguna comes in, and they get the kill on the way to as well with the LSA. Bone7 chasing after Bulba. He's very fast. He's got Yules up. Will he go for the kill? Decides against it. Yeah, and the buyback from Bane really doesn't matter at all. It was a really good buyback from Misery, especially if your if your supports can afford the buybacks in the mid game, mid early to mid game, and uh, actually get something out of it. It's totally worth it. So not a big deal there. There's a hook actually onto Envy this time of all people. They don't have a swap ready to go. Venge is not in the area yet. Maybe they can defensive sleep or something. Very late on that, but oh, oh they actually denies him. So it was perfect timed. Misery, I was waiting for it. They absolutely decimate that poor way too. And he's down for 35. So he gets caught out. Hook. Hook shot again onto No Tail. Magic Wheels is gonna go. By the way, there is a blade mail for the clockwork. And he's a DD bottled up. Not even gonna use it for that kill. Rap root root there. They're trying to decide where they're going. They do we go up around the secret shop? Do we go straight towards mid? They right-click an illusion for some reason. Envy and Fata actually both coming out of smoke from that black. Swap's gonna go, but he gets the shot of dance off. The hook shot in. Onto Fata again. Goodbye. Gets raised up. No till already low. And now Cloud9 after a three. Now Team Tinker overrunning Cloud9. Misery. Goodbye. Three dead as well. Make your black hole completely immune to getting cancelled because they have the Venge swap. That being said, they're probably going to be using the Venge swap defensively on their heroes that get initiated by Clock. So he probably could have actually gotten away with a BKB. Here comes a wraparound. Very nicely done on Misery. And that should be an easy, easy kill. Yeah, he's 100% uh, dead. They just take fights. And it looks like they want this tier 1 tower top first Radiant's and foremost, which has been a lot the entire game. Tier 1 Radiant finally about to fall. But are fortified. They're so still going to want to fight and protect bottom. Clockwork's already setting up. He's TP'd very, very Radiant's early on to the back tower, fallen. so that means if someone TP's to this Dyer's tier 2, then it'll be an instant. There you go. Hook onto Envy. Envy does have a BKB swap Radiant's out first and foremost, so they will top. grab a kill onto Big Daddy. And they don't chase further. They know Envy's nearby. Blink further could come and will. Pounce actually doesn't connect. Envy gonna just TP away. No basher for Black. And they cannot get the kill. That was a long duration TP. Mystic Flare almost took him down. Uh, so, yeah. Things are looking very, very good. Now, you can't, you can't count out Cloud9 because they're... Like I said, their actual damage is amazing. If they can isolate a hero, they're dead. There's an actually... There's a rocket that goes up to no tail up top, and oh boy, he's just trying to hide and and buy some time. Nope, he gets picked off. He's still level nine. 
They're gonna head up hmm. north and they're gonna look for Pilot Eye. That's a small concept surprise. They actually find Black instead. Laguna Blade goes. They're gonna try to blow up one. Meanwhile, Hookshot comes in and it's gonna be onto one. Black Hole onto three from way two. Where's the damage? Bone Seven getting low. BKB's pops. Bata about to fall. They will get Envy out in time. Bone Seven blinks up onto the high ground. The flare will go. He's so low they can't get the kill, but they do get the big target in Fata. And now Quake for with a butterfly and 2,000 gold as well. And hook oh, shot now into Bone 7. <laughs> He's done so. They also grab a kill onto Misery up at the top lane with Quakefa. Misery looking for Quakefa. Jump in. Yulsef is going to fly. There's the pounce up. Misery gets hooked up. He's going to fall. Envy. Laguna Blade on Quakefa. Pops the BKB. Bone 7 so low. Has to Yules himself. Now the race goes. GG is called. Team Tinker overrunning the base of Cloud9, and Tinker take the game over Cloud9. Game one, going to the Dire Squad in impressive fashion. Great draft and great play coming out from the new and improved Team Tinker squad. Yeah, um, I really like their draft. It's.